Hey everybody, my name is Dmitry and in this video I want to show you how to install and set up the EduPress WordPress theme. You will learn how to set up your homepage to look just like the theme demo and I will explain the theme's features and settings. Ready to get started? Let's go! This video was recorded using WordPress 5.5.1 and version 1.5.0 of the EduPress theme. Some parts of this video might be obsolete in future versions of WordPress or of this theme. To install the free EduPress theme, go to the dashboard and open the themes page in the Appearance section. Click the Add New link and search for EduPress in the search field. Hover the theme and click the Install link. It will take a few seconds for the theme to be downloaded and installed on your website. Click the Activate button to activate the theme. If your WordPress website is new and has no content, this is what the homepage will look like right after activating the theme. WordPress automatically adds some standard widgets to the sidebars, but I recommend that you remove all those default widgets. Now let's look at the theme's demo and see what content is displayed on the home page. After that I will show you how to set up every part of it. In the header we have a website logo and the primary menu. The first section on the home page is a tabbed slideshow of featured pages. It can display up to 4 pages. Next comes one more section that allows you to feature up to 3 of your most important pages. Both areas are optional. Next comes the Recent Blog Posts section. The website's main sidebar starts all the way at the top of the page. And finally the website's footer, which is divided into four widgetized columns of equal width. Now let's look at every section separately and see how to set everything up. To upload a website logo, go to the Customize page and open the Site Identity panel. Upload a new image or select an existing one from your media library. After you upload or select the image, let's click the Skip Cropping button. The EduPress theme has a single menu location in the header of the website. The slideshow on the homepage can display up to 4 pages, not blog posts. Go to the Customize page, open the Theme Settings panel and then the Featured Content panel. Enable the slideshow and choose the pages that you want in the slideshow. While you are here, you can set up the other featured pages section. You can have the same pages or a different set of pages, it is up to you. Make sure that the section is enabled and then choose your pages. Your pages should have featured images, otherwise thumbnails will not be displayed. You can display or hide the featured page excerpts. As an example, let's create a new page and display it in this section. The sidebar is a great place for a large menu. You can add it using a standard navigation menu widget.
Now let's look at all the other theme features and settings. The structure of a header can use a two columns layout or a centered layout. If you want to use a wide logo or you have many links in your menu, the centered layout might work better for you. You can set the sidebar to appear on the left or the right side of the website. You can also control the appearance of featured images inside of posts and pages. On post pages, you can display or hide the offer, the offer's gravatar, the published date, and the category. And finally, this theme comes with some basic color customization options. Go to the Customize page and open the Colors panel. You can change some of the basic colors in the theme directly from this panel. For example, you can change the color for the backgrounds, for links and text. If you would like to make extensive changes to the look of a theme, then custom CSS will be required. I have a video about this topic on the channel. If you have more questions about this theme, you can find some useful information on the themes page in the appearance section. From here you can easily access the themes community support forum on wordpress.org, send a direct message to the developer or even make a donation. And that's all for today's video. If this video was helpful to you, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.